Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at Rafinha from Leeds. This new inform card looks really, really nice so I thought I'd test him out in some Division 1 rivals today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. Let's just get into this player review. Let's take a look at this card because it looks really, really nice. As I say, I think inform from Leeds, from Premier League, is going to be expensive, and that's what you can expect from this card. It's not too expensive, but for 140,000 coins, depending on what console you are on, around there, 84 rated, it is a fair bit, but he looks like a meta card, and he has some fantastic links. 84 rated with 94 pace, 79 shooting, 78 passing, 85 dribbling, 52 defending, 75 physical, 5 foot 9, high medium work rates, left footed as a right winger which is nice, can cut inside, take some really really nice finesse shots, weak foot 3 star, so yeah, not the best for the weak foot. His in game stats guys, he has 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, 85 attack positioning, 76 finishing, not the best but he is a winger so it's not going to be as important as it would be for a striker. Shot power, he has 84, 78 long shots, 76 volleys, 77 penalties, 79 vision, 80 crossing. Crossing felt really nice in game and although these stats might not shout out to be the best, I'll talk to you guys in the actual review which ones were true and which ones were false and he played better than the stats suggest. 76 free kick accuracy with 78 short pass, only 70 long pass but 85 curve. 89 agility, 82 balance, 85 reactions, 83 ball control, 87 dribbling and 82 composure. Defending stats we don't really care about, he has really poor heading accuracy but nice. Decent jumping, 78 with 88 stamina, 68 strength and 78 aggression. Trait wise he has the flare trait for the non-CPU traits and the team we played him in guys was this one. We linked him up with Texaria and Allen who has a strong link to him. We actually played a 4-1-2-1-2 in game and I messed around. With different formations, I played 4-1-2-1-2 with Rafinha as a right mid in that formation. I think that was probably my favourite position for him. And we also played him next to Cristiano Ronaldo in a 4-1-2-1-2 as well. So yeah, he was in some great company. And did he perform around them players? And you are seeing some next-gen gameplay in the background, guys. Yes, next-gen gameplay for the first time on the channel. Well, for a player review anyway. We did a little video on the gameplay differences, which you can find a link to in the description. But... Yeah, let's talk about the pros for this card, and there were a fair few for this card that I just saw and I thought, you know what, he could be really, really nice addition to my squad. I'm always looking for that right winger. Right wingers are quite hard to come by on this FIFA, and if you do get a right winger, if it's like a Messi, he doesn't really have the pace to play right wing. Rafinha has that, his pace is absolutely fantastic, and I think that with his pace, he really is an out and out wide player. That is the position I would play him in. I'm going to talk about how he's a versatile player, but I think his best position is at that right mid spot, right mid where he can come back, and make the deep, uh, make the deep runs. I think that's exactly what you want this card to do. Four star skill moves. It's a funny one with me. The four star skill moves on this card, obviously, really nice. It does the fake shots, the lacroquetas, the Berber spins. I think due to his balance, he doesn't perform as well as you maybe would want to for your wingers. But he did perform them nicely, he was able to do the step overs, things like that, just lovely skill runs like he just did in the background. And the stamina, stamina guys, fantastic. I was think I was 80th minute, I looked down, his stamina was decent, he could run all game long. Really nice links, he links to Allen, he links to Richarlison, he links to Texaria, Talisca. If you've got a Brazilian team and you can get him in, he will be really, really Spot on for you because there aren't many good right wingers on this game. We swept that ball to him there, but that's just a prime example of his positioning. We played him as a striker in this game um, in the second half and he did really perform. Look at that. That's my favourite goal from this review, guys. A chip on his right foot, on his weak foot, three-star weak foot. Crazy. I don't really score many chips, so I was really, really happy to see that one go into the background. Now, with pace, you need good movement and good positioning, and he has exactly that. So many of these clips, he's just running in behind, playing on that right wing, holding his position out wide. The instructions we did play on him were cut inside and get in the box for the cross. So, to see him out, out wide in that wide position was really nice, and it's just a natural winger on this game. It's exactly where you want him to be. Positioning, as I say, you can play him as a striker, you can play him as a left mid, right mid. Probably wouldn't play him as a cam because he doesn't have the best passing and he's not that type of player. But his positioning was really nice. It's just something that you can trust in this game. He'll never just sit there. He's always on the move. Dribbling, as you can see again in the background, it's a nice little skill move. 
A lot of these clips, he is creating chances for his teammates. Maybe he's not making the direct assist, but he's made the run 30 yards up the pitch to actually lay the ball to someone who then actually finally gets the assist. And I think that's exactly the type of card, again, that I was looking for in this Rafuni card. Did not disappoint at all in that regard. Strength. Strength on the card. The stat itself isn't actually that high, but in-game, I noticed a lot of the time he was able to bully off defenders. He was able to hold his own. And I think in the, the, some goals, there might, the ball might have been pinged up to Rafinha. He was able to hold it up, which is a really, really nice thing to have on a winger, which wingers usually aren't that uh, strong in game. So Rafinha, if he has a bit of strength, that's what we like to see. And finally, the short pass. A short pass, for me, he made some nice assists. He made some chances where I would expect normal cards to be able to pass the ball. But with FIFA, you never know. Passing is just a joke. So... His passing, for me, in that aspect, the short passing at least was decent. But what were the cons, guys? I would say the long pass, as I've mentioned. The short pass to be good. On the other hand, the long pass was quite poor. He's just not a creative player as such with the passing. You can get the ball with him down the line, but I wouldn't expect him to be playing at cam or, and playing long passes with such accuracy. But you never know. The game, sometimes he'll be able to do whatever the game wants him to do. The three-star weak foot... A lot of the time he really does favour that left foot, so if you are cutting inside and maybe you have the cross, he might find it difficult to play the cross in on his right foot. The left foot though, it is really nice, the shots, the the crosses on the left foot were brilliant. I personally though think the three star weak foot on a wide player, is it good enough? I think we can make an exception for Rafinha because he adds a lot to the game. And yeah, the left foot obviously is brilliant, but the right foot does limit him. Eighth two balance, I've mentioned it before with the dribbling, just means that he's a bit slower out of the skill moves than you would hopefully want him to be, which can be frustrating, but if you can adapt to this, if you can adapt to his balance, maybe you put a chemistry style on, which does boost the balance, you might be sorted, but that is a lovely finesse shot in the background. I've put down his finishing as a con because... A lot of chances where he was through on goal, he would just blast it at the goalkeeper. Didn't really put too much finesse on it. With that shot there, he put finesse on it. It was a really, really nice effort. Maybe it was just a bit of luck with the finish, but I think that overall his finishing wasn't as good as you would like it to be for a attacker on this game. But nevertheless, he was a really, really nice player to use in FIFA 21. Really enjoyed using him in the next gen gameplay. Going to give him a 9.0 out of 10, a few areas obviously, which would take him to a higher level being the uh, weak foot, being the balance and of course the finishing were a number of areas which I feel like this card can improve on and hopefully he keeps doing well, keeps getting a couple special cards because I think he is a very, very nice card to use in FIFA 21. Four games, four goals, two assists, cannot go wrong, cannot go wrong with that. I think we were playing at like 2100 skill rating, so really, really tough opponents we were coming up against. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, smash the like down below, subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. If there's any players you want to see reviewed, probably from the team in the group stage promo, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you all in the next one.